San Jose is one of the largest cities in all of California, but what makes it such a unique place for millions of people to call home? In the final part of living in San Jose, we're gonna be talking about the best places to live, eat, and play in the western, southern, and eastern parts of San Jose. San Jose truly is a wonderful place. Here, you can be surrounded by all the luxuries that come with life in a big city, but still be able to find plenty of quiet neighborhoods to retreat to after a busy day. If you haven't had the chance to watch part one yet, I'll have it linked down in the description below. In part one, we toured downtown San Jose, Willow Glen, and Berryessa, and touched on some of the city's interesting history and its booming job market. Hey everyone, Spencer Sue here, your tech realtor of the Bay Area. In this video, we will focus on three of San Jose's larger neighborhoods, including Evergreen and Silver Creek, West San Jose, and Almaden. But before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Let's explore the Evergreen and Silver Creek neighborhoods right now. Tucked into the hills to the southeast of downtown, you'll find the beautiful neighborhoods of Evergreen and Silver Creek. Easy access to Highway 101 and the quiet, peaceful feel of the area are just two of the perks residents can enjoy here. The homes in the Evergreen and Silver Creek area are almost entirely single family homes. Generally, these larger two-story homes that were actually mostly built in the 1990s and early 2000s. Many of these properties have much larger than average lots, which helps maintain privacy between you and your neighbors. Many communities within these neighborhoods are also gated, including Silver Creek Valley and the villages, each of which is surrounded by beautiful golf clubs. The area has some of the best public schools in all of the Bay Area, such as Silver Oak Elementary and Elbert Green Valley High School, which both have a 9 out of 10 rating on grade schools. Beyond the picturesque neighborhoods filled with beautiful homes and wonderful schools, there are some fantastic outdoor amenities as well. If you like golf, the Evergreen Silver Creek area has much to offer. There are a number of pristine clubs like Villages Golf and Country Club, Silver Creek Valley Country Club, and the Ranch Golf Club. If you belong to one of the country clubs, you may even be close enough to simply ride your golf cart from your home to the course itself. After a day outdoors, you'll be in luck when it comes to grabbing a bite to eat or doing some shopping. The Evergreen Plaza has some great Indian food options such as Peacock Indian Cafe and Rajat Indian Cuisine. There's also a wonderful farmer's market held every Sunday at the Evergreen Village Square. There's also Canyon Creek Plaza Shopping Center located in the heart of Silver Creek Valley, which is home to the Creek Eatery. With its 10 bar taps that rotate among seasonal and local brews, the Creek is a great place to hang out and grab a beer. Now let's head elsewhere and take a look at why West San Jose is such a coveted geographic location. Now, many of the areas in West San Jose feel tucked away and comprise mainly of one story single family homes plus some condos that can be found mostly along the main roads. Why has West San Jose done so well? It's all about proximity to jobs in the Bay Area. Apple takes up almost all of Cupertino and LinkedIn, Google, and Amazon have taken up most of Mountain View and Sunnyvale. This then pins West San Jose to be that prime location where there's a lot of jobs and lots of opportunity. In addition to that, West San Jose has some of the best elementary and middle schools in the Bay Area. John Muir Elementary has a nine out of 10 rating on great schools and Joaquin Miller Middle School has a 10 out of 10. As far as getting outdoors and enjoying some fresh air, there are a couple of parks that you can take advantage of. Murdoch Park is a great option to play some tennis, or if you're into some extreme sports, you could head down to Calabasas Park where they have a BMX bike track as well as a great picnic area and horseshoe pits. West San Jose also has some great food and shopping options like Orchard Farms Shopping Center, where you might smell something delicious coming from Cicero's Pizza, a family-owned pizzeria opened in 1968. They're known for their thin crust. I mean, just check out this Yelp review from Gigi if you need some hard evidence. There is also Westgate Center, a smaller shopping mall with stores like J. Crew, Nike, Nordstrom, and REI. So if you want prime location with good schools but slightly smaller homes, this is one of the best places to be in San Jose. Now, let's head down to Almaden, where it's hard to believe you're gonna still be in San Jose. Here in Almaden, we're tucked way down on the southern tip of San Jose. You can see the area looks completely different. The area is very quiet and has a suburban feel, and in some places even begins to feel much more rural, almost like you're driving through the countryside, not through a major metropolis. 
Almaden is nestled into the foothills at the base of the Santa Cruz Mountains. Almost all of the homes here are single family, colonial or ranch style homes. Some of the homes here that aren't within the more distinct communities are scattered throughout the hills and sit on acres of lands. You can find a genuine ranch on acres of lands here just a few miles from a high rise condominium tower. That truly is unique and makes San Jose a one of a kind place to live. Here in Almaden, there are also a number of top notch schools. Almaden Country Day School, which is a private school for grades pre-K through eight, and public schools like Bret Hart Middle School and Leland High School both have a rating of eight out of 10 on grade schools. As you would imagine, with the neighborhood being tucked into the foothills of the Santa Cruz Mountains, the options for outdoor recreation are abundant and hard to beat. Almaden Quicksilver County Park is an awesome option. I recommend the Webb Canyon Trailhead for great views overlooking Silicon Valley. Enjoy golfing? There are also great country clubs to choose from here. Almaden Golf and Country Club is a prestigious private and member-owned club backdrop closely by the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's an incredible club for socializing, meeting new friends, and entertaining clients and family. In this neighborhood, you're also gonna find Boulder Ridge Golf Club, San Jose's campus of the acclaimed Bay Club. Boulder Ridge takes full advantage of the quiet tranquility and natural beauty of San Jose's sun-soaked hills. How about dining options? In keeping with the well-established charm and character of Almaden, you'll find the Burger Pit, a long-standing go-to classic for American steaks, burgers, sandwiches, and it's all-you-can-eat salad bar. It's a great old-fashioned burger joint serving up good food with no frills. The nostalgia and laid-back nature of the place couldn't fit in more with the vibe of this neighborhood. Didn't think all of this could be in one city, right? If you're looking to live in a city where you'll find both big city energy and the charm of smaller rural areas, San Jose may be one of the only cities in the Bay Area where you can find this. Having the option to escape to the calmness of the foothills while never being more than a few miles from fast-paced city life can really be a game changer in separating your work from your life. It's part of the reason I call San Jose home myself. I hope this video gave you a better sense of what San Jose offers its residents. If you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the Bay Area, my team would love to be your trusted real estate resource. So be sure to call or text us at 408-547-4590. Wait, before you leave, hit the subscribe button. I'm putting out new videos multiple times a week about Bay Area real estate and life here in the Bay Area. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.